What is going on YouTube now? I do hope this is recording. I'm actually going to check. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, so today, I'm just going to sit down and record a Q&A. I've never done a video like this, actually. Let me close this door one second. Um, I've never done a video like this. Now, this isn't my room, but I do hope to get this room. Nobody's actually currently living in, a, in my house. So, uh, but my mum is refusing to give me it because um, my room is too dirty. But... I do hope to get it one day and I'm going to absolutely design the show I'm going to make it look really nice so um, hopefully I do get it and if I do I'm going to make a series out of that uh, basically just redesign the whole room so that'll be good to watch but uh, today I'm going to sit down and do a QA, and a which is I know I keep doing this and this and this but uh, I like to express my hands but yeah I'm going to sit down and do a QA. I put up two Instagram polls so I put one up yesterday, I got all the questions that went down and then I put one final up one so to get the final questions while I'm going through this right now. So I got a good few questions so I'm going to go through them right now and answer them and hopefully this video is enjoyable. If you did, if you do enjoy it, please uh, like, comment, share and subscribe. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, one second, let me scroll down. So I actually got a good bit here. But um, also I did smash my phone if you did see that. Um, Alright, so what, edit uh, what editing software do I use? I use um, Adobe Premiere Pro at the moment. I used to use Sony Vegas, which is very easy and can do absolutely everything on. But um, just when I was in college, I learned how to use Adobe Premiere Pro and I just stuck to it. It's like 20 euro a month or something for the whole Adobe software because of a student account. Um, so... Yeah, Adobe Premiere Pro and then Photoshop. I can use Lightroom, I can use it all. Alright? Um, do I take creatine? No, currently I don't take creatine. Now, I don't have anything against it, but it's one of the only supplements that do work. I do recommend taking creatine, I'm just lazy, I haven't got it, and I can't be arsed going out of my way to get it, but it is one of the supplements that do work, and there is a lot of research behind it, so if you're thinking about taking creatine, take it. It's like, why wouldn't you take it? It's on, like, yeah. Um, someone said come back to Club Vitae which is the arena my old gym um, I don't know like I'd like to I'm in Coliseum Fly Fit so Coliseum is a badass gym you've seen that in the last video it's um, one of the most hardcore gyms I've ever been in my life and I love it um, and then Fly Fit I'm in that because I don't drive and Coliseum is far away from my house so um, so basically I stayed in fly fit so I can get my cardio done and if the lads that do drive aren't going to the gym I can make my own way to fly fit and train still or and there's fly fits in town where I work so um, there's one literally after opening up in my shopping centre where I work so um, I will be like training there before work after work like it's going to be the handiest thing ever ever so I'll keep my fly fit membership um, I someone asked when am I shredding? So I am currently shredding right now. Um I started shredding in January the seventh, I think it was, of January. Um my competition's April twenty fifth. So I did a fifty I'm doing a fifteen week cut. I think I'm eleven weeks in. So I'm currently dropping weight real slow, real quick but but real slow. Um What are your biggest inspirations? That pushes you to achieve your goals. Um, this is a bit cringy, but myself as one, like I have a strong mindset. When I want to do something, I do it. Um, now I have been slacking, but like say with the gym is a big goal of mine, and I really do enjoy it. So like with competitions and stuff, it's myself. Now. Inspiration Christian Guzman, the man is changing the whole fucking world, like it's crazy. The man has a gym, which I'd love to have, a clothing company, I'd love to have as well, eventually. Um, the man's building a hotel, he has an energy drink company, all these sponsorships, a perfect YouTube channel, like it's class. Like that's a big inspiration to me, that's what I'd love to achieve uh, one day. Um, who else? My big brother, Daniel, he push me to well like not push me but he 
influenced me to join the gym so I wouldn't be here where I am today without him um, and then that's really it for that question um, all right if I could the next question is if I could train with any bodybuilder who would it be and why um, it's hard to think like I'd like to train with maybe say okay, not technically bodybuilder David Laid I'd love to train with Christian Guzman as well as I said biggest inspiration to me so kind of that kind of answers that question but then actual bodybuilders as well Ryan Terry 100% like golf physique Stephen Cow um, like these are like people I inspire Chris Bumstead wow well, I just love to just wall. Um, who else? There's a lot of people, man. There's a lot of people. But all the top men's league competitors, I'd love to train with. Even the top, uh, classic physique competitors as well, I'd love to train with. Um, and obviously like Arnold, like who doesn't want to rock? Like they're fucking crazy. So I'd love to train with them also. <laughs> Um, just people saying hi. Um, my page is lit. Hello. Um, some mad language. Some hands. Drop a follow. What's up? Just chilling. Just chilling. Um. Hi. Hi yo. Uh, let's look. Let's look. What are your goals for this year? Okay. So I did write them down. Now I wrote them, written them down downstairs. I'm not going down to get them, but I want to. So obviously I'm complete completing this goal right now. I'm currently in the process. I do want to compete. So that's the goal. I'm getting that done. Um, I want to learn how to drive. So I will get onto it soon. I'm going part time. I'm going to go back to college. So this is a like official announcement. I'm going to go back to college. I'm going to um become a personal trainer I want to do it so I'm going back to college for that and then um, so I'll have time to and learn to drive hopefully also uh, what are goals I want to save a lot I want to travel the world I want to just like be successful but not in the sense of like money wise like just successful as in happy and freedom like that's success to me so I do want to be successful hopefully one day hopefully one day I can be successful so um, yeah let me just go down and have a look again someone said you are so fit hell um, don't know whether they meant good looking or uh, in shape if it's in shape uh, I've trained six days a week for the last almost five years so uh, if it's in shape that's how I'm so fit like I've just consistency I stay hard I stay going Um, only recently I've got into diets majorly like I used to when I was younger now I do recommend this take this as a tip to anyone that's young watching this channel or anyone that's even getting into the gym okay you do not need to count calories yeah it's good yeah it's perfectly fine but when you're young or you're a newbie into the gym just put on weight just put on muscle train hard eat a lot eat a lot okay once you get to the point where like you have enough muscle to tr count your calories get into good shape like physically like abs and all this shit yeah fair enough everybody wants abs but if you want to maintain a nice body like i'm not saying i have the perfect body yeah but if like I trained, I promise you, this is how I did it. For the first like, three years or something, when I was in the old gym, like the very first gym, there's a little beside it. I used to train. I used to go in there. I had a spoon in my bag, and I used to go in there and buy a tub of Ben and Jerry's and walk home and eat the tub of Ben and Jerry's and then have my dinner after I ate the tub of Ben and Jerry's. Like that's literally what I done. A ben and Jerry's is a thousand calories, right there. So I walked home, twenty minute walk, twenty five minute walk. I ate a thousand calories, and then I had another what six. To 800 calories from a dinner like it's easy people just need to cop on eat calorie dense food just eat like eat train hard you will grow you'll grow and then you go on to count calories count calories is 
so important. It is so important. Um, especially for competitors, like, you need to do it. Well, yeah, you need to do it. Okay, you just do. Um, but if your goal is to grow, eat, train hard. That's it. Okay? Um, and then if you're so fit, like, as in good looking, I don't know, which is awesome. I'm cheap, and pop me over. Um, yes, my competition number was 69. Uh, I count that as my lucky number for now. Um, how many grams of protein do you take in on a day on cut? So I'm currently cut now, as I said. My protein intake right now, as we speak, is 190 grams of protein, I believe. But that will vary. So once I start stop losing weight, I'm currently losing a lot of weight. It's coming off me easily, so I'm happy with that. But uh, once I stop losing weight, I will drop calories, which will include protein. But I do recommend about a gram per body weight like per pound of body weight um, it's just the easiest way now there is a lot of research behind this that like you don't need that much but like if you like if you really really want to go into it you can read thousands of pages on it thousands but there's no need just go for a gram protein per body, pound of body weight and I think you'll be alright um, where do I go on YouTube I'll answer this um, so, my last, before the last video I uploaded, my last video before that was about nine months ago. So, after the competition, it wasn't I didn't, like, it was just, I just destroyed myself. So, basically, you deprive your body for so long, three months, like, without cheating, without anything. And then, I just went wild, like, couldn't stop eating. I knew I was doing it to myself, but I just couldn't stop like I ate loads and loads and my body was just holding all this water away and then like the rebound was just disgusting and I wasn't happy with myself like I could just see it happening to myself in the mirrors like I could see like all this weight going back on me and um, yeah like I wasn't happy and I just I lost motivation to record and then like work and all like it's hard five days a week I work I try to see my girlfriend the other two days because she lives far so I don't get to see her on my work days so I try to see her the other two, eight, two days so I don't really get time now I will try to get time as much as possible to um, to like record and stuff I do want to do this like it's not as if I don't want to do this Um, sorry my camera cut out there but as I was saying it just gives these videos meaning that uh, yeah, that like just that I have something to go to, and you can follow me on this journey, and that's what I want to do. Like I really do want to do that. So um, right now as well, I'm gonna just do a little plug. So once I do get my mom to talk me, well, once I do talk my mom to giving me this room, I'm gonna design it. But then as well, I'm setting up a podcast. Me and two of my best friends, Emmanuel and Connor Ivory, and um, we're setting up a podcast. It will be just us talking about day to day topics. So, everything. We're into a lot. So, Connor is an MMA fighter. Emmanuel is a is into football. He's has been around the world playing football. He's very inspirational. The man works in Twitter at the moment. So, that's another big goal of his. Um, he, yeah. Emmanuel is very inspiring as well as Connor. So, and then I have another... I'm down another road with... Um, bodybuilding and then we're all into shoes we're all into fashion we're all have a good sense of humor i'm not saying we're funny but we are funny i find it funny so um we all have a good sense of humor it'll be a great list and i do promise is that every single week we're trying to kind of upload one once that gets going i will plug it into another youtube video and i will be pushing it on my instagram so make sure to keep a watch out for that um I can't think that's everything. I have. I'll just double check to see if I missed any questions. But other than that, I don't think I do. No. Okay. So that's it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Um. If you yes, did enjoy the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I did say that already. But next time, try not miss out on my Q and A's. I do put them up on my Instagrams. So give me a follow. It's at Philly Lines. I'll pop it up on the screen. And uh, make sure to ask a question. Alright, so peace.